Good morning guys, so we are at Roebuck Bay Roadhouse at the moment, we just got some fuel, uh, we are leaving Broome, so we are heading towards Halls Creek today, which is a seven and a half hour trip, which I'm not looking forward to at all, and yeah, we'll camp there tonight and then start the Tanami tomorrow, um, and we're starting to head home. So we've been driving all day. It's about, we're about 100 k's from Halls Creek and this bird literally came out of nowhere. It like flew past the car and then hit Matt's mirror and took out his mirror. So is it still a mirror or is it broken? Uh, anyway, this is the culprit. Little topless pigeon, sorry mate. He's dead. Oh, the glue, something reflective in there. It literally flew across the car from my side, and we got feathers all through the cab. Whew, just what we need today. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> We're in the middle of the desert for our birthday. Well, I guess not many people can say they've been in the Tanami for their birthday. <sighs> yeah, not many for a reason, probably. <laughs> but yeah, so sorry about that hole, but it's make okay. it up to you when we get home. It's okay. <laughs> Elsie lost her mirror yesterday. Yeah, well, the bird came off second best. So we have. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get a good shot of the cameraman back there. Oh, yeah, wow. In action, beautiful, in action. Beautiful, beautiful. So we're just leaving camp now. Plan today is just to drive along the Tanami. There's a few spots that Adrian wants to fossick for gold, so we'll probably pull over. Prospect, and... yeah. I, think I don't know. Oh, um, Fossicking for gems, maybe? Oh, okay. So I don't know. we'll, we'll prospect... clarify with him later. <laughs> He'll prospect for gold and um, hopefully he'll find something. <laughs> that would be very, He's very got a pretty exciting. legit, pretty legit um, detector, so his eyes has been finding lots of little bits of metal all morning, but yeah, no gold yet. <laughs> Yeah, some slug gun pellets. 
a fish hook, a boot nail, uh, yeah, some random stuff. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we'll take you along the Tatamai with us. Mirror's been fixed. Oh yeah. I mean, it's better than nothing. <laughs> it was from, um, it was actually from the inside of Adrian's cab on his um, flip down mirror. He had this sort of reflective plastic covering like the whole thing for like a vanity mirror. But um, Ellen said it just like distorted her face in a real weird way, so she never used it. So he took it off and and then uh, yeah. All right, let's do the tandem line. See what it's like. So Adrian's doing some prospecting. He's having some gold in this creek, and uh, my camera's interfering with his detector. So I'm gonna get my coffee and maybe not take the camera back unless you find something. We got a brand new Land Cruiser, brand new HJ47, a Royal Original, hasn't gone off road, zero kilometers on the clock. I'm pretty sure it's one of the only examples on planet Earth with zero kilometers on the clock, so. Pretty special, 100k, that's what we're asking for. Come get it. <laughs> have just pulled up to Wolf Creek Crater. Um, pretty cool thing to see. It's about 20 k's off the main road and from Halls Creek it's about 145 k's. So that'd be way too much to do as a day trip unless you wanted to camp in the campground out here but something cool to see. We're gonna get the drone up a bit of flow. Yeah. It'd be cool to camp out here because you could uh, do wait for sunset. Yeah. It'd be cool. You get the long shadows from the inside and the outside of the crater so yeah. that would be that would be pretty cool. Yeah but I think we're gonna keep moving. Get a few more K's under our belt today and then pull out for camp soon I think. We've got an old troopy here, an old HJ47 troopy. <laughs> Having a good look. <laughs> what, what have we discovered Adrian? Alright, the one telltale sign. We have normal reduced blackout. What does that mean, Matt? It's either Army or North Force or something mm. like that. It's even sadder. Even sadder. Floor pan's good. Floor pan's not too bad. Tempting. Well... <laughs> so we were just uh, driving down the Tanami here and obviously there's a lot of wrecked cars on the side of the road. And I saw that <laughs> troopy and I was just like, that is a 40 series hut, Adrian, on the two. I'm like, mate, 40 series on the road. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I actually got a part off it for Elsie. One of my headlights is a bit, I'm a bit wonky cross-eyed at the moment. because one of my little screws fell out of my headlights. So, thank you, troopy. You're helping another 40 live on. <laughs> Definitely does something, eh? Like right in the middle here. 
the door. Yeah, see, like that. All that. Just show me the comparisons of the side. So, like, that's what was on the door this morning. Mm -hmm. And then. So, that's how it looked this morning. That's now. That's what the kind of dust comes through the back. <laughs> it's crazy. Getting another fix on the mirror. Yeah, reflective plastic was. <laughs> Bit like uh, there's one of those wacky mirrors, you know, which is not great for driving. So, um, I actually found a Falcon mirror, or a Falcon wreck <laughs> in the Tanami. So, I don't think they needed it. I mean, it ain't pretty, but it'll work. All right, so we're just sitting around camp and uh, we had a good day's drive. It was actually not too bad at the Tanami. Like, um, it, look, it's corrugated and it is a desert road, but it's pretty good. Anyway, we're up uh, just on a really nice little camp on a hill. Got 360 degree views. Um, it's marked on wiki camps um, as, what is it? The, the lookout. lookout. Yeah. So you could probably search that or it's not too far from Bulalia. I think that's the community. Um, anyway, so we're sitting around having a couple of beers and doing a diesel transfer and we're getting talking about the canning because that community is actually the start of the canning. So we're just trying to figure out sort of K's and fuel and all this kind of stuff and we've got all the maps out and we're figuring it all out. It's quite fun really, but um, it's uh, it's just interesting because we're trying to figure out fuel and Adrian's brother is actually going to be bringing his 4x4 Isuzu truck and he's going to be able to carry a fuel pod, like a big fuel pod. So we're going to see like how we can swing it and how far we can get with a fuel pod in the truck. So it's good fun. Uh, yeah, just remember... Someone write down 15.74. How many litres of diesel did we figure out we're going to need? <sighs> See, there's the problem. If we went from Alice all the way to the end, so we went Alice up the Tanami, did the canning with 379s and the truck, we're nearly 2,500 litres. What do you mean 379s? Three, oh, 279s. Elsie uses about the same, so we <laughs> put it in there. And then the truck. <laughs> <laughs> <You're a f> <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty funny though, because by the time this comes out, it's not even as. <laughs> Will we have announced? Sorry, I, I think do, we do would again. have. This would be even funnier. Adrian, how many uh, liters of diesel did we figure out we're going to need? We need two and a half thousand liters for two seventy nines, a truck, a Prado. <laughs> It was a Prado you're getting, isn't it? I'm pretty certain it was a Prado. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that's doing. <laughs> DJ Dex. I can hear that. Hey. I can hear <laughs> that. was a scratching. I like it. All right, good luck. Find me nuggets. I'm putting it away. Oh, you're putting it away? Yeah. I thought you were going to find some nuggets. It. I just want cold beer tonight. Fair enough. I'm a bit hot. Fair enough. The sun has literally just set. Um, we had a great vantage point here up in the hill. Nice 360 degree views. 
I just want to say I love the um, love the Tanami so far. This end has been really, really nice, quite interesting. Um, pretty colours. There's colours around here are stunning. Love the desert colours, like these trees up here in this hill. Sort of the beautiful white uh, trunks and branches and really sort of light coloured leaves. It's just really nice. I love these kind of colours, the pinks and the spin effects and yeah, it's probably yeah, it's probably my favourite. Uh, kind of terrain, I'd say, is the outback um, desert kind of scenery. It's really nice. I just took some photos of some art reference, actually. Might try and do some landscapes. I'm not very good at landscapes, but I'll have a go. How's your induction setup going, Ellen? Oh, fantastic. It's going well? Yes, just cooking the brisket. Ooh, they're pre-done brisket. Adrian, what the hell are you doing down here? I'm just mashing. <laughs> With the baby fork. <laughs> Look at the baby fork. Oh, no. Can anyone feel my pain right now? Adrian, how have you been liking the induction set up in the... Oh, I love it. 79. So good. It's just easy. Like, probably a twin, twin induction yeah. for big, big mm. catering events. You like could fit this. a twin. Could fit a twin. But, no, it's really easy. Good morning everyone, so we have woken up this morning, packed up, had breakfast and now we're about to start day two on the Tanami. That's just checking a few things, hey boys. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so Tanami so far has been really good. Um, the plan today is just to do another few hundred k's. Um, we might stop somewhere along the way for Adrian to do some prospecting and yeah. That's the plan. Alright, Holly and I have just stopped over for a bit of lunch. I mean, Adrian stopped as well. We've actually stopped in a creek bed, a uh, dry creek bed, and Adrian's just trying his luck, doing a bit of prospecting and having a look, searching for his eureka moment. Um, Holly and I just had a little bit of lunch, just made a pork roll. It was delicious, roast pork roll. Um, as you can see, set the awning up really quickly. Um, this awning has been unreal this trip. It's just been so good having, like, just for this, you know, right now it's stinking hot in the desert. Mm. And we can just bung it up two seconds. We've got great shade. And it's just not, no fuss, no fuss to set up and pack up. So you yeah. sort of find yourself doing it more often. Whereas other awnings uh, with a few poles and that, you just don't, wouldn't probably bother in mm. a situation like this. So we're probably going to get our chairs out and set the iPad up and uh, watch some Stranger Things. It's really good. Yeah, well, so, we'll wait for Adrian to find gold. <laughs> we'll wait for Adrian to find gold. So, yeah, absolutely loving these freestanding awnings. So, yeah, this one's obviously for Camp King. Mm. Uh, industries, same as the tent. Matches up with the tent really well. If you have a Camp King tent, oh, yeah, bit of a no-brainer to get one of these if you're looking for an awning. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. Ready for the movies? Yep. <laughs> Set the iPad up on the step. And... Just having a power raid. Oh, yeah.
All right, we've stopped over at camp here. We did nearly, oh, we did just under 350 k's today. Um, so we don't have too many to do to, to Alice tomorrow and a lot of it's tar. As you can hear, I'm just transferring diesel from our sub tank. I think I said to Holly the other day was, I'm so excited about getting our new car. One reason, we're just gonna have so much more time at camp. Like this takes me about half an hour to do this diesel transfer. Um, Holly cleans the car out every day, all the dust. So that takes her a good amount of time. Heaps more, a lot of setup with our mess stuff. Like we're, we're pretty quick, but it's still quite a bit of setup and messing around, pulling everything out. Whereas our new setup is gonna be really, really fast. So I'm excited. Excited to have a bit more time at camp. I can probably get a bit more filming done and just be a bit more relaxed. And I think it'll be a better product as a result of it. So. And Elsie needs a bit of love as well. <laughs> Light torch nachos again. Nachos. Because why not? Ooh, sour cream. Yes, you should for that one, I think. That's a lot better than mine. Okay, Alan, you ready? Oh, that looks awesome. <laughs> This mat I just landed it on, it's actually a sea gear mat. Um, it's actually it's actually called like a drone or shower mat, which we've been using it for. This is actually the first time I've used it as a drone mat, I'll be honest. I usually take off um, and land on the bonnet and stuff like that because we're usually driving when I'm, I'm doing that kind of thing. Um, or the awnings out, be landing the awning. But um, we took it this trip just to give it a go. I don't know if you've heard of a sea gear mat before and what they actually do. It's like a, looks like a double layered tarp. They're kind of pretty magic. Pretty much sand, if it falls on top of it, you can brush it through, it will fall back through, but it won't come back up through it. So it's just good to have like a clean area, maybe at the base of your car, we've been using it at the base of the car, um, especially in like sandy environments on the beach, it's fantastic for that. When you're getting up into bed, you can sort of wipe your feet and then you don't have sand in the bed. Um, and we've also been using it as a shower mat. It's been really good for that. So it's just, you don't create heaps of mud and you're not walking through mud when you're having a shower. Um, and it's just a good size. It's not too big, doesn't take up much room. It's actually just in our bin bag. And uh, yeah, we've been liking it. It'll be going in our next car. We've actually really liked it this trip and found like quite a few multiple multiple uses for Even it. Even under the car, you've used it a few times? Yeah, actually under the car when I'm like checking on a few things under the car, I've slid it under so I just don't get dirty. So yeah, it's good to have something that's like multiple multiple functions in one sort of because um, you know, when you've got limited space, it's good when things do multiple things. So. Yeah, we like it. It's good. We got this one through A247. You know, we, we've teamed up with those guys for ages. Um, they've just got heaps of really good gear, so they're easy to sort of promote. Um, our car's got heaps of their, their gear on it. Our fire pit, our shower tent, now the sea gear mat, uh, tool roll. Uh, it's all really good gear. Um, our flag as well, sand flag. Anyway, we've got heaps of stuff on the car. Um, and we have a code with them, so if you want to get this mat or literally there's so much stuff on the website just have a look it's all really good quality gear just use olt 10 for orders under a hundred dollars or olt 20 for orders over a hundred dollars and you'll get 20 10 or 20 bucks off depending on which code you use and how much money you spend and yeah and get yourself in good gear <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. soap on my face <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Morning. As you can see, we're just in the troopy here, boiling some water. It's just so windy outside that we wouldn't be able to use the cooker, the normal cooker, to boil our water for a coffee. So windy here, we had the worst night's sleep, just flapping in the tent, just 
canvas flapping, strap mm. flapping. It's one of those nights where I just think, no matter what tent you're in, you just get yeah. to stay away. Cause it's really, really windy, gusting, pretty big gusts, but moving mm. the whole car. Um, what else? It's funny because we got up. This, oh, I got up this morning and spoke to Adrian. Adrian, I was like, man, I'm so sorry that flapping was probably keeping you up all night. Because his ute was the other way around, so I thought he is usually his better. Was, yeah, I thought his is a good way, and he's like, no, nah, I thought I thought our ute was keeping you up all night. How flapping, and I was just like, no, nah. we were just so loud. Yeah, so we have all had a pretty bad sleep. Anyway, you get that sometimes when the road when you're on the road, you just get a bad night's sleep. Wind usually, wind is the yeah. one. Yeah. Rain you can deal with because obviously you're dry, but when it's windy, you can't do anything to stop it. Like we could have got up yeah. and tried to maneuver the car the other way around, but if Adrian said it was still windy the way they were parked, then there's probably not much more we could do, really. Mm. At least we can get inside the troopy. <laughs> At least we have that option. Troopies are good by that. So, as you can hear the wind, it's pretty windy. So Holly and I couldn't cook anything on our cooker this morning. We just jumped in and had coffee and some oats, some overnight oats. But Adrian over here. The wonders of induction. It might not be the best for flavour, but Jesus is good in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is where induction is bloody good, I reckon. Really good. So it's still windy as all get up. We're in the cars and we're just gonna start driving because you just can't escape it. We could in the back of the trophy, but yeah, it's just none of us slept well. Quite cold as well. Yeah. Pretty yeah, so um, we've got 400 Ks till Alice. We think we've got about 100 or two of dirt left and then the rest is hard. So it should be a fairly easy drive. I don't think there's anywhere that Adrian can prospect from here on in. So let's get back on the road. These corrugations. Yeah. for joining us for this episode guys you know the drill if you've enjoyed it make sure you hit the thumbs up join us next week as we tackle the bins track before heading into the simpson desert mm -hmm.